another exciting tutorial about Weed Video. This time we are in part four in the Save the Penguins project, and we are going to be adding a photo with some text. So we're going to always start in Canvas. Do not go to WeVideo.com. You'll go to Weave Video in Canvas. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the old screen, and we want to go up here to Classic and switch to next gen. Your project should already be here, so you just have to look for it. Like, I've done a whole bunch of other stuff, so I am going to go look for my project that I've been working on with you. Once I'm here, I'm going to import my photo that I took of my prototype. So I'm going to click Import, and then mine's in my Google Drive. I'm going to choose my photo, and then it's going to load, and what you might notice is that these are all stretched out and look real long. They're still on the same um, number of seconds as where you left them, but over here on the right, there's a, a place where you can look at these way more closely. So 43%, you're gonna notice that these just got really long. And it's so you can fine tune all your adjustments. We don't need that at this point though. So what I'm gonna do is slide this all the way back to 1%. And this is probably what it looked like when you first started. What I'm going to do is drag this photo down and click it in with the others. Then I'm going to add text right over my picture. I'm going to go here to text and I'm going to go instead of titles, I'm going to go to captions. Please only do the one we're asking you to do. Don't get all fancy on us for this one. The next project, you can go crazy. But this one, you're just going to drag this into text one so it's on top of the picture you have there you're going to double click and this is where you can change what it says and i'm going to um, list the things that i could do to improve my design so i'm going to just make some things up they can't really do bullet points they don't give you that option so i can just do a little asterisk and i can say um, i'm going to add a layer and possibly, I don't know, a reflective something. Okay, so I've got a couple things here. Um, you can move this. So I can move it right to the middle. I could put it off to the side. If you want to make the font bigger, you can just go here and change it. And you can move this so that it fits. You can drag this over to make it all in one line. You can also change the color to make it fit into your background a little better or stand out even more. So I'm going to make this a little closer to what I've got here. That's pretty. And then I can change the font color. I think it'll look better if it's black. And if I want to change the actual font, I can do that too. I'm going to go back and make it the same architect one that I had before just because I like it, right? Maybe I'll put that here. Um, that's fine. Don't spend too much time on this. This is just practice. I'm going to click done. You'll notice that your text is longer than your photo. Your photos show up as five seconds. We don't need more than five seconds for people to read a few words like this. So what I'm going to do is drag my text to match the length of my picture. And if you're not quite sure if that's going to work, you can go back here about halfway back and you can click play and then you can see, does it work? Add a layer, add reflective material. That was plenty of time to read that. So I'm happy with this. I am done with this part. You don't export yet. We'll have a little bit more to do. This is fine. So you can just get out of it. It will save and be ready for you for the next time.